if we like this house, we go get it. Is that our house? Yeah. <gasps> Cosmetics as well, too, babe. Now, this could be the master, it's just that you're not going to put him downstairs in your room. Let's shower. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. It's beautiful. This is a plus. I like the wood. This is the dining. Bathroom. That's a nice laundry. So we ended up not getting the house because we couldn't offer more. At the same time, we also found some problems, which is mold. That's something I'm really, really avoiding. We really like the place. We really like the house. There's a lot of potential except you know we have to put more money to it but someone already offered a bigger price so we were thinking no it's not meant to be but then it made me realize that we don't want to be in debt 
so we're just gonna save up and it's better to build a house we actually ask for some friends advice or tips like which one is better to just buy a house and and renovate it or build a complete brand new house and then get a land we can get it done the way we wanted it and we just decided to just um, save up. My husband is the only one that has a job and I lost my business. I do photography and I gave up wedding photography because I did not have that, I would say, charisma. People mostly didn't like my work. Uh, very few people, the, the comeback clients, they're seasonal clients. For me, it's still good because it does help and it's less pressure. But the reason why I stopped wedding because of very traumatizing situation, we had to give back the money. That was after my C-section actually. And I didn't have energy to go to the court and fight it. I know because we have a contract, but also at the same time, I just had a baby. And for us, it wasn't worth it to really go through that drama but it was hard i was still recovering from c-section so i gave up on that business i tried to do photography sometimes for like wedding depending on you know if it's a request or if they really want us or if they really want our service i'm talking about me and my husband because he's he assists me most of the time oh by the way guys you can check out my instagram to see my work my photography in case you know uh you kind of curious about what i do so now what i want to do for my business is i want to sell uh, maybe just sell my photography something about like food anything that you can pose on the wall in your kitchen or bedroom and i'm also doing digital art a notepad which is i have been wanting to do and i heard it's so much easier and i will just put my art there i feel like it's gonna help if i have a little bit of business here and there just so that i i could help out a bit even just for food i am still grateful and thankful that we have a god that provides and we're just literally living by faith but we don't want to be in debt either hopefully something miraculous will happen and who knows <laughs> someone will bless us something i don't know i mean other than that i'm really not complaining because we're still able to eat and buy things that i need if you see a lot of my shop with me we go to whole foods but that has something to do with my health because i've got to have better alternative food it's got to be organic or with something with clean ingredients what other people actually don't understand about me they don't get it if they invite me to eat out, I can't eat the food that they eat. It's been very, very hard, but other than that, I'm grateful. Careful love. Habanero. <laughs> Yay. I can't reach my sea salt. Thank you, darling. So I'm getting sea salt. I'm going to have that, so I got a knee. Let me see. Is that grass fed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Asking my 
husband. That's funny. Your natural color? That's more your natural color. Oh, this is big. I know you are, Daddy. You always have a dream. No, it's not. It's One not more. From the game, it's from me. Okay. and macadamia. Well, that's sad. <gasps> I guess we have to go to Trader Joe's. It's been a while anyway. Okay. Mexican style. This is my husband's favorite right here. It's Mexican style. Cheese. And that's past pasture. Pa pasture or pasture? Pasture <laughs> So I'm gonna get one. Yay! So here's our favorite butter right here. Ouch. <laughs> so this one is grass fed. There you go. No, it's not the same. Aww. We don't have much. Yeah. Is it the same? Someone put it there? Here's the tofu. You go, love. Here's my son's favorite pancake. Yummy. I'll show you guys the ingredients. Right there. Really good. Yay, we got it. We are done. We are done. 
We got two bags of groceries here. We spent about $250, $250. Wait, now? Uh, Biden is really going no. off the deep end here. Two and, uh, <laughs> supply chain issues, prices. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Look, $250 for two, this <laughs> produce. Come on. <laughs> no. Look at it. to go home. Well, that's it guys. We went back to Whole Foods, but this is a different location. So, yep. So we just finished church and I'm snacking my favorite siete. This is really good guys and I eat this on my feast day. Weekends. I love my Sundays with my siete.